in inches. Blizzard 93 was on target and heading north. Florida firefighters were the first to work before dawn. High winds and rain tearing through up the east coast, the storm stretched, touching New York first on the Long Island shore, and then New York City, where the world's hub, JFK Airport, shut down by noon. Go over the uh, responsibilities we've made for liaison. Red Cross volunteers huddle up for final instructions. Shelters are open and ready across the region. Fire departments like Lafayette set up command posts to aid the stranded. Our biggest headache tonight is probably going to be Route 81. It's here. The heavy snow is now coming down outside at a very fast rate per hour. In fact, the airport's no closed, so is the throughway within just the last minute. I'm Matt Mulcahy. Wayne's here. Rob Garino, too. Special weather team coverage on the blizzard of 93 on TV3. Any roads there. I have certainly seen my share of whiteouts in central New York, but I have never seen anything like this before. The, the wind is whipping, and, and the visibility, I'd say, right now is... 20, 30 yards we felt the building rumble a little bit here, and I'm sure you're feeling it at your home, too. Thunder and lightning reported throughout central New York, and Queen Mahara just told me it's largely because of the pressure dropping outside. All right, let's get you out. Most of central New York did stay home, but as we moved with Blizzard 93 into the night, the brave or not so wise ventured out, even with a state of emergency on all over. How you doing? Good. Did you come to help? I'm stuck too. Good evening. It's 7 o'clock. Our continuing TV3 coverage of Blizzard 93 with all of central New York and now the New York State itself in a state of emergency because of all the snow that's piling up, the dangerous winds outside, and the quick rate in which snow is falling at this hour. And this is as of 8 o'clock. These are some of the new totals we just have come in. Binghamton with 18 inches of snow since it started this morning. Syracuse is 16. Good evening at 9 o'clock. I'm Matt Mulcahy. This is a TV3 Blizzard 93 update. For some areas of central New York right now, a bit of a lull in the storm, but that does not mean it's over yet. Good evening. It's just before 10 o'clock. Here's a quick example of the kind of trouble heavy snow can bring this collapsed warehouse roof on Syracuse's west side. No injuries involved in this. About 10 o'clock as we looked outside, it looked like there was a lull. But I'll tell you, the wind's whipping, things are swirling, it's every bit as nasty as the worst parts of the day, and it's, of course, only going to get to be worse. Just off the phone with the state police, they tell us the throughway east to west, the entire width of the state of New York, closed down. Same with Route 81. Through the drifting snow, a rescue at Syracuse, China. A propane explosion. Three people hurt. And then the stranded, the Amway Convention at the landmark in Syracuse, among others, making the most of it all. Yeah, I think this is great, man. We don't see this kind of stuff in South Florida. We see tornadoes and hurricanes. Oh, my God. Some other people had no choice about where they spent part of the night. Spending the night someplace warm and dry was good enough for most. But during an emergency, the rescuers are up all night long, and so is TV3, taking central New York through the storm. Jim Axelrod was up through the night on an overnight odyssey. Jim? All right, Matt, tonight, three nights later, the wind's picking up a little, but with clear skies, mostly clear roads, even a beautiful sunset about an hour ago, the whole thing seems kind of unreal. But as Saturday night was whipping into Sunday morning and the blizzard gathering its breath for its loudest blast, there was no question. It was real, it was here, and daylight couldn't come fast enough. The red X's ran wild across the top of the closed throughway toll gate in Baldwinsville early Sunday morning. The spotlights framing the intensifying blizzard, this was an overnight odyssey people wanted only to survive. At the Fairmount Fire Department, 12 volunteers stood by with radios and food. No sleep in sight. The call came in. Uh, we were out of here within 60 seconds, and we were on the scene within three minutes. Like tanks to battle, the plows kept moving, undermanned against the raging storm. This was Route 81 northbound at 5.30 in the morning, also closed up. The tread marks about the only sign where our camera was. Sunrise now on day two of Blizzard 93, or should we The morning say? light seemed to bring some optimism that the worst was over, but also some new concerns. Of course, this is Sunday morning, so we're going to have a big list of church closings, and why don't we run those down for you right now. Practically all services and masses were canceled. 
on this most extraordinary of Sunday mornings in central New York. Thanks, Jim, for that report. With first light, people began to stir to see the beating their backyard had taken. The damage at dawn was a sight to finally see. The better part of three feet was now on the ground. Drifts up to here and higher. It's about like 66. Yeah, a lot of drifts, cars buried in the driveway, you know, drifted right in around them. Pretty deep, I can't believe we got this far. Blowing drifts all the way up the side of the house. Cars are just completely covered. Yeah. It's crazy. And That's the snow exactly totals, let's see, if you can measure it with a yardstick, you're about right, right? Yeah, three exactly. Feet. 36 inches. We'll take more than three feet in just the last 27 hours or so. The blowing and the drifting is the real the state of problem. emergency, in effect, no one is supposed to be driving. However, those who were had a time of it. Thankfully for some, there was a helping hand. But the snow just kept coming. And so did the wind. What better way to get the morning errands done? The malls are shut down, and so many other stores, too. At Peter's Grocery and Shop City, manager Chuck Solomon had no choice but to open after getting stuck here himself overnight. In register 7, right over here, was my bed. And a, a, brawny, a roll of brawny towels was my pillow. Back to the cancellations. The Syracuse schools are closed for tomorrow. Uh, Christian Brothers Academy is closed. Bishop Ludden is closed. Bishop Grimes is closed. The Syracuse Airport, Hancock Airport, is closed until 7 o'clock tonight, and it still may not open then. That's just the latest target date for when it may reopen. Transportation, uh, getting out anywhere far away from where you are right now is very difficult. It's improving on a local level President right now. President Clinton is now uh, quickly reviewing applications for federal disaster relief. Cars that are buried. <laughs> and you might not even know there was a car underneath it had, if you didn't have the uh, intelligence to figure it out. Syracuse University, and leave it here for just one moment, Syracuse University has never canceled classes because of the weather before, and today they have. Also, University College. And on the SU Hill, the Carrier Dome deflated on purpose to keep it from collapsing under the snow buildup. As sunset came Sunday, we were three feet deep into Blizzard 93. In a moment, the tales are told of riding out the storm. The emergency is still on as TV3 Blizzard 93 coverage continues. Simply Toyota Corolla is affordable and has been a benchmark in America for 25 years. Your Toyota dealer invites you to step up to a whole new level of Corolla. New levels of room safety performance. Corolla with definite family influences from Camry and Lexus. For a limited time only, there's a Corolla special lease program. And now more Corollas are being built in America than ever before. Toyota's Simply Irresistible sales event on now. Home equity loans? What do you think? Yeah, they're a great idea. We used the money to update this kitchen. Mm. Yeah, and we did all the work ourselves. Even the plumbing. <laughs> so what kind of rate did you get? Oh, well, it was about 12%. What was it a couple hundred dollars in fees? But you know, then, that, that was, was a good a, rate. Yeah, it was. Uh -huh. good. It was a good rate. That's right. So? so? Right now, you could switch your home equity loan to a fleet bank line of credit and get a better deal. Ah, what's the difference? It starts below the prime rate. Below? Below, below mm -hmm. the prime rate? Now, that is low. Right. Our rates haven't been this low in 20 years. So, what do we have to do? Give us a call. We can answer any questions you might have. Call 1-800-685-3202. Below prime and no hassles? Mm -hmm. We can even help with the paperwork at your bank. That's the difference. That's a big difference. <laughs> Fleet Bank. We're here to make a difference. Do you want to call or should I? March is Frozen Food Month, and Wegman celebrates with a symphony of quality and savings throughout our frozen food department. Delicious, convenient, healthy choice dinners, all varieties, two for just $5. And Tyson Boneless Chicken in eight varieties, just $1.99 with your Shoppers Club card. Remember, register to win an Alaskan cruise for two and more. Save throughout March in Wegman's Frozen Food Department, part of what giving you our best really means. As we pushed on towards Sunday evening, the storm had then been rolling for 34 hours. Our TV3 Blizzard 93 coverage was with you all the way, with all the snow you couldn't even count on in the morning paper. The storm of the century hit so hard, few central New Yorkers could even read the headline. 
too much snow for newspaper distributors to make the rounds. Hour after hour of clearing away Blizzard 93. It's true, what goes up must come down, but nothing was going up. And once it was down, jets were going nowhere. And still won't tonight, even though the airlines have pushed to have Hancock Airport reopened. The blizzard warning continues, so does the state of emergency. 38 plus inches of snow in Syracuse, record amounts, record closings, and brutal wind chills as well. Syracuse seemed to have gotten the worst of just about anywhere else up the whole east coast. So the forecast tonight, the blizzard warning continues in effect. Windy and cold, lake effect snow showers and flurries. Some areas another three to five inches, low tonight around three degrees. Lots of blowing and drifting still with that gusty wind. We're looking at moderate blowing snow and the winds are really fierce out here. The wind chills are down. I am really cold out here. And you can see that uh, this is actually one of the smaller drifts. Behind me, seven and eight foot drifts. <laughs> Our lee monitor measuring the snow and the temperature outside. Very cold and very snowy. Well, this morning, Matt, uh, we went down to the barn, waited down to the barn, I should say, and uh, when we finally got the barn doors open, the horses, uh, they were in a big hurry to get out until they found out that the drifts were uh, up above their bellies. Uh, they made a, an effort to get out in the field, turned right around, came back, and asked to come in. We're, we're stuck in. We've got about uh, six and seven foot drifts around my house, and I haven't even attempted to get outside today. Call your company or office before you try to go to work tomorrow or tonight because many of them are closed or are canceling shifts. Even in a storm this tough, not everything comes to a halt. In fact, in snowbelt country, east of Lake Ontario, hey, what's another three feet? Yeah, this is normal. Although we thought winter was over was about three weeks ago, and uh, I guess not. My brother, Tim Mulcahy, and his wife, Kristen, are at Krauss Irving Memorial. They came in at 4 this afternoon, braving the winter storm. They're having a baby. His name? Jared Michael. One of an unusually high number of births during the storm. Some say due to the low pressure system. Why is this woman sweeping the snow? Oh, it's her car. We go into tomorrow, 23 degrees. And yes, that is the sun. It will be out by the afternoon. Get the shovels ready. Yes, the sunshine was finally in the forecast. It would come, but first, the last licks for Blizzard 93 during the overnight hours. The storm had now moved up into Canada, but we were still picking up a northwesterly wind, but being it was moving away so fast, the lake effect started to die off, uh, and it looked like it was going to die off in the next couple of hours, but the winds were picking up, and then the drifting started to come into play overnight before it decided in the morning. And in that morning, the airport, the throughway, and all the main roads would be ready to open again. And Blizzard 93 will push over the top into history as TV3 Blizzard 93 coverage continues. Raisin brands are good for you, but they're all the same. So this is total raisin brand, huh? Excuse me while I eat. It's crunchy. It's good. Very good. Wow, look at this. Total Raisin Bran has 100% of all these vitamins and minerals. Kellogg's has 100% of just one? That's odd. Total Raisin Bran, the Raisin Bran with the total difference. Never thought much about vitamins. Now you got me thinking. Next time on Entertainment Tonight. We made the ultimate personal sacrifice, you know, that a husband and wife can make. <laughs> Anita Baker had it all. Grammy Awards, platinum albums, but the one thing she didn't have was the thing she wanted most, a baby. Oh, okay. After two earlier miscarriages, Anita's finally living the family life she's always dreamed of. Plus, why is Brian Dennehy after Paul Newman's wife? Find out only on the next Entertainment Tonight. Tuesday at 7.30 on TV3. Hi. I'm Glenn Gomez Adams from the Why Morning Wake Up Show, and I've got a secret. I'm the mystery shopper, and I'll be at Smith's Market in Brewerton this Friday looking in your shopping cart for three or more healthy dairy products. If I see them, you'll win great prizes like T-shirts, ski passes, 30-day trial track and racket memberships, and more. No purchase is necessary. It's from the American Dairy Association. Milk, it does a body good. Brought to you by WSTM TV3 and Y94 FM. From Hollywood Pictures. Last night I started thinking and I couldn't fall asleep for 10 minutes. 
They said Billy Dawn would never be more than a Vegas showgirl. She's the one on the stupid side. What do you know? You open beer cans with your teeth. Now they're learning. I'm not taking it anymore. To never underestimate the power. You're Harry's boss. Of an underestimated woman. Am I in the room? Melanie Griffin. John Goodman. Don Johnson. Born Yesterday. Directed by Luis Mandoki. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 26th at a theater near you. Are things looking good at chapels this spring? Things are looking great. By Monday morning, the storm had passed us by, but not before leaving just enough lake effect behind to push past the all-time record for the snowiest storm at just under 43 inches. That's just under four feet without the drifts and the plow piles. Having around today, people have done a fine job of putting their lives back to normal after this big storm. The road crews especially. Most roads are open, clear, and relatively safe tonight. But as we also found, there are some people who are still feeling the full effects of Blizzard 93. Hi, good. Welcome to Hobart Avenue. The people who live on this dead end street in Syracuse say they've been waiting for three days for a snowplow to show up. They don't care about dead end streets. They just go on by. So the neighbors banded together and have taken it upon themselves to clear their own street. It's hard, backbreaking work, and they're not happy with the Syracuse DPW. We pay enough taxes here. All the other streets around us are done. Negotiating the side roads remains a challenge. Many cars still buried under heaps of snow as special equipment is brought in to chew a path down narrow streets. All the while, people shoveling and shoveling to dig themselves out, only to see their work destroyed in a blast. Well, you know, I felt like helping him with snowballs, but I let him go by. He's just doing his job. <laughs> the sheer weight of the snow causing problems at Pencan Mall, where part of the roof collapsed. Mall management says it was only a minor problem, but... On the Today Show this morning, the governor admitted New York has taken some hard hits lately, but says it keeps bouncing back. For all of that, um, my, uh, my state is open today. The public buildings are open. Uh, I expect my state workers to be here. The airports are open. The roads are open. Hancock did reopen at 8 this morning after being shut down about 40 hours. People by the hundreds lined up at ticket counters for outbound flights, flights that had been delayed or canceled. Many flights are still delayed this evening. Tim Barber was stranded two days. You gotta take it with everybody else. You think you're the only one, and I myself have done that, but you gotta just go with the flow. And... The Teal Avenue office in Syracuse, sorters were sorting this morning, telling us some processing is delayed because mail's arriving late by air and by truck. Carrier Doug Litz says it's rough getting to the mailboxes. The people haven't cleared the snow away. As Central New York found new ways to pile it up, schools called in cancellations for a second day. Buried sidewalks kept the kids at home, and that's fine with them. With the sunshine out, it's time to get out the sled and make the most of Blizzard 93. While the kids play, the adults fine-tune a special Central New York talent. We're a community of experts tonight, calloused, sore, and tired of shoveling. And like any community of experts, full of suggestions about the best way to get it done. You gotta break it apart. Take a little by little, do by layers usually. You gotta put your back into it, and you gotta use your arms a lot. Uh, it's all in the motion, continuous motion. Bend the knees, use the arms, press the back. The shovelers always kind of look down their runny noses at the snow blowers and the flowers. But listen to them, they'll tell you it's snow picnic their way either. Well, you get sore in these, too. Where do you get sore? Uh, your backs, your legs, from hitting the gas brake all the time. And how about this one? Do you take this man or woman for blizzard or for worse? It's the one day that everybody will remember, you know? No, how can anybody <laughs> forget your wedding day, you know? They're going to be like, March 13th, you got... I said you better not blizzard? ever forget our yeah, anniversary. 
What a couple. They're from Homer, and they'll never forget the day they got married. Just how much did Blizzard 93 dump on Central New York, and how does it stack up with the legend of 66? The TV3 weather team wraps that up as Blizzard 93 coverage continues. Hi, I'm in this commercial because I'm not an expert on nutrition. I mean, who is? Thank goodness I found Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. In this one cereal, I get everything I want. I get whole grain, I get lots of fiber, and look at this, I get 14 really good vitamins and minerals. So, how does Kellogg's get all this stuff into one cereal? I don't know. I just eat it. Get Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. Everything you want, right here. The sheer force a child's foot exerts upon opposing surfaces can be, well, different from an adult's. Stryrite understands that difference and designs shoes with quality, durability, plus a big hit for spring. Big League Values, a fun-filled lineup of leather athletics from just $29.99 to $34.99. Catch Big League Values at Stryrite every step of the way. A message to all of Faye's competitors. To keep up with today's demanding families, you have to offer the highest quality at the lowest price. So like Faye's, you need store brand products independently tested and guaranteed to the same high quality as national brands. Giving people more for their money. One, two, three, or even four more ways Faye's is serving customers better. Faye's, obviously not your average drugstore. An incredible break. Tomorrow, Raymore and Vlad are going to give you a staggering one-half off everything. Plus, no money down, no interest, no payments for a full year. Just look what Raymore and Vlad has done to a furniture sale. Everything, half price. Pay nothing for a whole year. We've never done it before. You want half off everything? You got it. You want no down payment, no interest, no payments for a year? You got it. Tomorrow, noon to midnight only at Raymore and Flanagan, where nothing will stand in the way of the best deal you'll find. Nothing. By way of postscript to Blizzard 93, the man who advised SU when they deflated the dome, highway crews, and when to plow the roads, and Hancock Airport on when to shut down, Wayne Mahar begins our TV3 weather team wrap-up. We're talking 43 inches by the time the storm was all said and done. That included a bit of lake effect behind the storm. I mean, that will go down as one of the biggest snowstorms we've had, and it goes down in the record books as the most snow we've ever had in 24 hours. Uh, we're talking about 34, 35 inches in 24 hours. That's a record. That tells you the intensity of the storm itself. The similarity to the two storms is that in 1966, we had a track that jumped down into the Gulf of Mexico. They both followed the same track. They both also headed up the coast, but they stayed a little further inland, which allowed a lot of moisture to develop from the Gulf of Mexico. And then it collided with the cold air over Syracuse, creating significant amount of snow. The major difference between the two storms is that in 1966, we had 42 inches over a four-day period, where in 1993, we had it just about in a two-day total. So a lot more snow in a shorter period of time for the 1993 storm. There also seems to be something generational about which storm was worse, 66 or 93. The people who were experienced 66 won't let go of that one, and now the people who've been through 93 say this is the one they will remember. With Blizzard 93 now melting away, we'll take a moment to remember the 20 people in our state who died mostly after the storm, after shoveling s snow. You always have to be careful about that. We also want to thank all of you who tuned in and stayed tuned in to our around-the-clock Blizzard 93 coverage. And thanks to all who called in vital information like closings and cancellations. I also want to add personal congratulations to each and every person behind the scenes here at TV3. We weathered this storm together with all of Central New York. This truly was the storm to tell your grandchildren about. With continuing Blizzard 93 coverage, I'm Matt Mulcahy. <laughs>